Your backup is only as reliable as your backup media. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to assess the condition of your Crucial X8 SSD using the free Crucial Storage Executive. Then, I'll show you how to make a verified backup file using the IOMI Backupper Pro software. I've listed the download links for the Crucial Storage Executive and the IOMI Backupper software below this video. I'm starting the Crucial Storage Executive. And now I'm going to plug in my SSD to a USB 3.0 port. I'm going to hit refresh. Now you can see my X8 as SSD right here. You can see that I have the latest firmware. It gives the current temperature and the drive that has been used so far. There are more details here if you're technically inclined. But I have to say that this notice at the top here in green is really what you should pay attention to because the, uh, the smart parameters are being evaluated. There's help up here gives more details about what all these buttons are for. And that's all I wanted to show you here. To make the backup file, I'm going to start the IOMI Backupper software. On the home screen, you'll see the backup tasks. I'm going to make a new backup task uh, for this uh, demo so that you can see how it's done. For that, you click on Backup. And I want to back up the entire disk so I could do a full recovery later if that were to be necessary. So my Crucial X8 SSD is on disk D and now you have to select the the disk that is going to be the source of the backup file and that will be for me the C drive and that adds it to the the backup task. Now I'm going to rename the backup task so that it makes more sense for later. And start the backup. Once your backup is started, you can uh, you can click on this little gear and automatically check the integrity of the backup file on completion, which uh, is pretty handy. Because then when uh, when the job is done, it's already been uh, verified.
you click on this link where it says backing up data it will show you uh, the status uh, and it shows you the the speed over here 200 245 megabytes per second I found that to be typical with a USB 3.0 port and it also gives you the remaining time That completes the backup portion. Now the verification will uh, automatically happen if you follow the instructions that I gave. Again, you can check the status right here on, on this link called Checking Backup Data. Notice the, the backup uh, lines are here and when that finished when that was done the checking portion uh, started okay one more check of the status by clicking on the current operation has been completed link and uh, this just gives a little bit more information but the important line here is the image is valid and integrated and we are finished and notice we have a new backup task on the home screen. Now you may be wondering where the file is. You can uh, take a peek at that right here. It's going to be in a on the D drive in this folder. And let's just uh, Verify that. And here it is. This is the uh, this is the backup file. And that's all there is to making a backup file. If you like this video, please click on the like button below. Thank you.